I don't know where to start We're suddenly not the same love We're gathered here today in order to witness and to celebrate a very special event. The union of Nick and Caitlin in this most holy sacrament of matrimony. Nick, Caitlin, this is an occasion of faith and family, community and commitment, life and love. We rejoice with you on this day and we promise to pray for you. May our God bless this union. So most couples have like a defining moment in the relationship where you know like they're getting married, like that's that's it. But for Nick and Caitlin, I think we all just kind of knew that they were the ones for each other and from the very beginning they were always like together and two peas in a pod really. As one of Caitlin's younger sisters, I always felt victim to her looking over me. For example, when we were younger, we would always play house and she was always the mom and I was always the kid. Or we'd play school and she was the teacher and I was the student. I didn't have much say. I was always upset I never got to be the teacher or the mom, but looking back, Caitlin has always been the person I would follow and look up to, even when we weren't playing. Although some of my favorite memories growing up were with Caitlin, about 12 years ago, Nick came into the picture. Like Caitlin, I've always felt like Nick was looking out for me. Caitlin, I couldn't have imagined a more perfect person for you than Nick. He is passionate, loyal, and committed. I know this because he is a Browns fan. <laughs> Caitlin, it's been a long time coming. I'm so happy that you're joining the family. Congratulations to both you guys. And just for me and Nate, and from everyone else here, welcome to the Willis family. You got one of them? Seems like yesterday, my doorbell rang, and this little boy came to my door. Hey, Mr. Zephyr, my name's Nick Willis. It's nice to meet you. You know, it seemed like no time at all went by. Nick stopped by the house one night and asked for a ring in marriage. And I absolutely had no issues. Of course I said yes. There was absolutely no reason not to. Nick was uh, everything I wanted from him. Do you take me to be your husband? Do you promise to be faithful to him in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love him and to honor him all the days of your life? I do. Nick, you can kiss your wife. <laughs> with all that we've got we keep keeping on